name is Teresa. Welcome to new and familiar faces. Today, Father Vincent celebrates Mass with us. Something to think about today and during the week. We can depend on Jesus to calm the storms of life. We simply need to trust in him. Please stand. <laughs> You. 
Here your proud waves shall break. The word of the Lord. Any 
type, any technology, anything, has to be tested. It is not enough to discover something, to invent something and keep it in the lab or whatever, wherever company, whatever. It has to be brought out in public, whether it is an aeroplane, a car, or ship, whatever it may be, or a lack of anything. It has to be tested. And then we come to know that how good is that product. <laughs> Similarly, in our life too, a life of faith, our faith has to be tested. As we move from one end to another, as we move from this earth to the heaven, our life as we journey, this life of faith has to be tested. And this has to be tested in the storm that erupts in our life. If all of you, including me, we all know we have some sort of storms erupting now and then. And today's gospel, I believe, is something we have a message for each one of us. They got into the boat with the Lord along with them to cross over the other side. And suddenly they were caught up in the storm. Now one thing is that about this apostle is that they have seen that who is with them, he has done all the signs and wonders, yet when they were caught up in the storm, they were frightened. So we can say that they were not a superhuman being, they were ordinary human being like us. They got frightened in the midst of the storm. Or we are like them, get frightened when the storm erupts in our life and start wondering where is God? Start asking, is what's the point in believing in God? Or some people will say, the Lord was there with them. The storm should have not erupted. Or in our life, if the, if the storm erupts, which means God does not care about us. It does not love us. In fact, it is opposite. The passage today, in a way, Jesus, our Lord, being with them, and that was the time the storm erupted to communicate to us some message that even though when the Lord is there with us, the storm will come. But we have to learn a lesson which Jesus taught them. He said, why are you doubting? Why are you afraid? He rebuked them. So that is what the Lord will tell us whenever, when we are frightened because of the some storms or the other have erupted, we got frightened, <coughs> we doubted. The Lord will definitely will rebuke us. It is so important is that Storm, in a way, makes us strong. We expect the Lord, when we believe in the Lord, when the Lord is there with us, nothing should touch us. Our voyage, our journey should be safe sailing. <coughs> it's in the midst of the storm, for you and for me, we get an encounter, we get an experience that God is alive. It doesn't make a sense for a vehicle or aeroplane, new creation is kept there, built and kept there unless it is tested. How will your and my faith prove to the non-believer that we are man and woman of faith. Who can 
in the midst of the storm can sleep peacefully. Look at our Lord. The storm is around him and he's peacefully sleeping. We all are called to be like him. Even if the storm is erupting, we should be peaceful because we are in the hands of God. God is in control. And our Lord knew very well, He is God, He is the creator of everything, and the very fact that He gave a command and the, the storm, that there was calm, which means the apostle also came to know the divinity of the Lord, that he has a control over the nature. The Lord was so peaceful, which means to say that we are needed to have that so-called peace of mind in the midst of the storm that comes only with total trust in the Lord. Wish we all were like our Lord. And that is a thing of we are different from the people, not believer, those who don't believe. And we are in a culture where they frown upon us when we believe. Or only we think about the Lord when there is an emergency. There was a, this captain taking a, a boat for a people for a picnic on the other side of the to the other side of the lake to to island and so this captain before starting the voyage prayed and they were all youth in the boat and they were laughing at him because he was praying because it was calm it was quiet the lake was quiet and suddenly on the way storm started hitting and they got all wet got panicked, frightened. They all started praying and they invited the captain to come join us in the prayer. Are you not afraid? He said, no, I've already prayed when the, when the, there was calm. Now when there's storm, I'm at my service of looking at the ship or whatever boat. So when the first, when the things are calm, you seek the Lord. Not when there is a storm, you try to look out for the Lord. Because when there is a calmness, when there is quiet, when everything is okay, to trust in the Lord, to believe in the Lord. Not that only when there is a storm erupts, when there is an emergency, you run to the Lord. No. The person who always pray when the things are okay, that person will not have a difficulty when that storm erupts because he knows his life is in God's hand or God is in control. We should be like that captain. When everything is okay, I trust God. I believe. Thank God for everything. And when the moment, challenging moment erupts, I know the Lord is in control. Because that's what the whole passage is all about, today's gospel. And it is precisely that because Jesus was there with them, they came to know who the Lord is. And I want to just end this formally by reading out to you the so-called quotes from the St. Augustine. Very powerful, he gives a reflection on what it means to awaken the Lord who is sleeping. Christian, Christ is asleep in your boat. Wake him up and he will calm the storm and your fear. You are afraid because you are asleep. <coughs> you are tossed about on the stormy desires raised by the breath of those who tempt you to do evil because your faith is asleep. Your faith is asleep means you have forgotten your faith. To wake Christ means to awaken your faith, to recall what you believe. Remember your faith, wake Christ within you. Your faith will immediately steal the frightened
lightning winds and waves of those who tempt you to do evil. Let us pray and ask the Lord that God may really make us a shining example in the world to show others that in the midst of the storm, I am calm because God is in control. <coughs>
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become the bread of life. Blessed be all the bread of earth.
obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, a spouse, with your blessed apostle and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints of whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation be prayed, O Lord, and want the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope, Michael our Bishop, with your, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of these family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, who are departed brothers and sisters and all who were pleasing to you, and their passing from this life, give kind inheritance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and he, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. 
I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Thank you.